In this video, we'll bounce the equation C15H30 plus O2. This is a combustion reaction. We have a hydrocarbon and oxygen, and then we get this carbon dioxide and water. Don't be intimidated by these large numbers. We balance this the way we balance any combustion reaction. Let's count the atoms up on each side. We have 15 carbons, 30 hydrogens, and then two oxygens. On the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens here, plus we have the one here. So we have three oxygen atoms. Let's just balance the carbons. We'll put 15 here, one times 15. So those are balanced. Next, let's do the hydrogens. We need to put a 15 here because two times 15, that equals 30. So those are balanced and we need to update these oxygens because those have now changed since we've changed these. So we have 15 times two, that's 30, plus 15 times one, that's 15. So we have 45 oxygen atoms. This is a little bit challenging because we have 45, which is an odd number, and then we have two here. We've left the oxygens till last because when we change the coefficient here, that won't change the carbons or hydrogens. But this odd number, that's kind of hard. There is a way that we can do this though, and it's using fractions. Because think about this, two times something would equal 45. Two times 45 over two, that equals 45, the twos cancel out. So we could just put 45 over two, and this equation would be balanced. Everything's the same on each side. The only problem with this is that some teachers, they don't like having a fraction here. We can get everything to be a whole number just by multiplying the whole equation by two. So two times the one, that gives us two. Two times 45 over two, the twos cancel out. We have 45, just like down here. Two times 15, that's 30. And two times the 15 here, that's 30. So these would be the whole number coefficients for C15H30 plus O2. Let me clean that up just a little bit. And these are our coefficients. A few things. One is leave the oxygens till last when you do combustion reactions. That makes it a lot easier. Make sure you count all of the oxygens up. We have some in the CO2 and in the water. And then finally, if you get stuck with kind of this odd number, you can use fractions to work that out and then multiply all your coefficients to get a whole number. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for C15H30 plus O2. Thanks for watching.